The equipment judge monitors the ballot counter. Before the polls open, tape a six-foot perimeter surrounding the ballot counter. Only the voter casting a ballot may be within the perimeter. Election judges must not enter the perimeter unless the voter has specifically asked for assistance. Manage the line at the ballot counter. Ballots can be inserted in any direction. Once the flag appears on the screen, the ballot has been cast and counted. If a voter's ballot is rejected by the ballot counter, first have them insert it again. If it is rejected a second time, tell the voter they should check the ballot counter display screen to see if the reason for rejection is shown. If not, have the voter review the ballot and discuss the possible reasons for rejection. It is acceptable to look at the ballot if the voter asks you to do so. If the voter states they want their ballot counted as is, see the duty card for the steps to override the ballot counter rejection. If the voter would like to spoil their ballot, they can do so at any time. Direct them to the ballot judge. It's important the number of ballots cast through the ballot counter matches the number of ballot receipts collected by the ballot judge. Therefore, no voter can leave the polling place with their ballot and come back later to vote. If the voter has signed the roster and has been issued a ballot, they must vote. It is acceptable for a voter to vote a blank ballot. Voters are not allowed to cast absentee ballots they received through the mail at their polling place. All absentee ballots must be delivered by hand to Ramsey County Elections by 3 p.m. on Election Day. If the ballot counter stops working for part of the day, voting must continue. Voters should place their ballot in the emergency slot of the ballot box. When the ballot counter is running again, two judges of different major political parties must cast those ballots through the ballot counter.